More than 100 million animals are used in research and testing around the world each year. Under UK and EU laws, the severity of suffering experienced by animals has to be reported. Categories include mild, moderate and severe suffering. Any level of suffering is a concern, but the RSPCA is particularly concerned about those animals who suffer most. Around 10% of all animals used in science currently experience severe suffering. This means around 1 million animals across the UK and EU and 10 million worldwide. Animals may experience suffering as physical pain, psychological distress or feelings such as sickness or nausea. Some types of procedures are more likely to cause severe suffering. A combination of less severe factors can, together, increase overall suffering. And where animals die, they may have experienced severe suffering. We believe everyone should want to reach a point where no animal experiences severe suffering. There are plenty of approaches that can be taken to help avoid or reduce this. These include earlier humane endpoints, better welfare assessment, improved husbandry and care, reducing the impact of procedures and using non-animal technologies. The RSPCA has set up a pioneering initiative aimed at ending severe suffering, working together with scientists, government regulators, lab animal care staff and members of animal welfare and ethics committees. We have held national and international events for those involved in the regulation, use and care of laboratory animals. We have brought together groups of experts to identify opportunities for avoiding or reducing severe suffering in specific research areas. We've produced step-by-step -step guidance to help people review severe suffering at their facilities. Since our project started, we've seen the number of procedures causing severe suffering reduce by over 50% in the UK alone. And elsewhere in the world, many people are reviewing and improving practices in their institutions. This includes people deciding to move away from using animals as a particular model or in a specific test. Or identifying ways to improve every aspect of an animal's lifetime experience, because lots of small changes can add up to make a big difference. Until everyone's primary goal of replacing all animal use with humane alternatives can be achieved, working to end severe suffering is essential for legal, ethical and scientific reasons. And everyone involved has a responsibility to make this a reality. Find out more about this project and the practical actions you can take to help avoid, reduce and end severe suffering at focusonseveresuffering.co.uk.